What's up, everybody? I hope everyone is staying safe. No, I did not lose a bet, okay? This is called a bad quarantine haircut. Thanks to my wife, I had to shave it off, but it will grow back. Hopefully you don't turn off the video because of this. But the reason why I'm making this video is to show off some of the setups I've been doing using lights. Like lighting is so important, especially if you use RGB lights properly, it can really enhance and change the way you feel while you're immersing content. Now I did partner up with Best Buy and Philips Hue to make this video happen. And in this video, I'm mostly using the Philips Hue play light bars and the HDMI sync box. The thing about lights is it kind of acts the same way as sound. Like you can set these lights up to surround you. Like the app, the Philips Hue app, when you install these lights and you sync them together, you can place them in positions where you'd normally play sound. And when the light changes on the screen and the lights that are connected to it mimic it, it really adds this immersive feeling that's hard to explain unless you see it for yourself. The first example I want to show you is my personal entertainment setup at home. This is a very simple and clean setup, enjoyable to watch content on, but it's plain. Like it doesn't really do anything else but offer you a clean TV experience. Now look what happens when you add lights to this. I placed two Philips Hue Go on the bottom with two Playlight bars on the back and all of a sudden the content I'm watching feels much more immersive. Whatever colors are on the TV, the HDMI sync box picks up and then pushes it out to the lights to extend the content to the background. And that just makes the TV feel much bigger than it really is. Now you can do this with your console as well, whether it's Nintendo or PlayStation, or for example, I'm using Xbox here, and it will do the exact same thing. Like I'm playing Ori. This is a very vibrant and contrasty game. A lot of purplish hues and white, and depending on the scene I'm in, the lights will react appropriately. Now, if you don't care about a TV setup, you can do the same thing with your computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop PC, you can install these lights to work with that. Now, I have a very clean and simplistic gaming setup that I personally use, and it looks great. Like, I love gaming on this thing, but I like it better when I use the Philips lights in the background. It takes the game I'm playing, uses the color and extends it to the wall, making the game feel bigger than it really is. This really helps too if like, if you have enemy actions happening in the game, the lights will kind of mimic it. So if someone is coming from the side, the lights will give you an advantage by notifying you by changing color. It's just a cool way to game. It just adds another layer of immersion that you just didn't have before. If you love music, you can also sync the lights to the music you're listening to. My only tip for you is change the settings on the Philips Hue app. Don't put it on high or intense because if you're listening to a song that's really fast, the lights are just gonna go crazy. What you wanna do is keep it on subtle or moderate for a more enjoyable visual experience. But one of my favorite things to do is product photography or B-roll. Like this is a pair of headphones sitting on a clean white desk with a colorful background. It looks great. Like it's clean, it's easy on the eyes and I can get my message across, but it's very simple. If I wanna talk about a product and show off how crazy its features are, I can make it feel different. I can make it feel more futuristic by adding in colors. Like this shot here is just two Philips Hue play lights, one on each side, with the flashlight from my smartphone going back and forth on the top. And I took a shot that felt simple and minimalistic and turned it into something you'd see from the future. And I think that speaks to the power of how lights can be used to change the feel and the mood of whatever you're talking about. Now, I hope this gave you guys some ideas on how you can incorporate Philips Hue into your lifestyle or even into your product B-roll shots if you're a creator like myself. Of course, I'll place links to these products in the description down below. Stay safe, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.